What is the difference in difficulty in say making a hemoglobin protein versus making a polymer down at the chemical plant? Most of the polymers that ExxonMobil makes are, are uh, uh, vinyl polymers. Yeah. All of the, the ones in nature are, are condensation polymers. Mm -hmm. And so the delta G, the free energy, is positive, right. which means that the reaction is unfavored. It's, right. it's favored not to go. It does not want to go in the polymerization direction. So actually it favors the starting material. The other thing about nature's polymers is that they're ordered. They have high order. So there's this highly ordered system of, it's not just the same A, 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 A over and over again, or A, B, A, B. Right. It's a discrete pattern that codes for certain things. So in DNA, it codes for what it's going to translate to the RNA. For the RNA, it codes for what it's going to translate to the protein. So there is information embedded in every one of these polymers. Right. You don't have that same kind of information in ExxonMobil's polymers. You might have what's called Shannon information if you had a random polymer, which is, which is what kind of packets of information can you pull out of randomness? but all of life is what's called specified information. And these are not terms that were coined by, by people at the Discovery Institute. These terms were actually coined by people working in information theory. You have this specified information. Nobody knows where the code came from.